Hello, dear friend, Thomas Matt in the fourth year. I'm here in the presence of God and fellowshipping and talking about visions and uh, visitations of the Holy Spirit and the Lord Jesus with a couple of dear, dear partners of the ministry, friend, my friends here. And, uh, but I, I, I felt on, on the beach before, just after I switched the last one off, uh, that I was just doing a closing prayer and it came after I had already gone off air. So by the spirits but i but i felt i felt very strong but the lord wanted me to share this with you and here it is i pray in jesus name that god will give you the revelation of prosperity the revelation of of uh his abundance that you will know it as I know it. So. And that the plan of God was always for you to, to be rich, to be wealthy, to live in abundance. It is, it is his nature. Like I was talking about the difference between poverty and prosperity. Poverty and the spirit of it and the mindset of it and religiosity, and the socialistic, communistic, liberal, messy, anti, anti this, all come from Satan. And they're a diversion to the real plan of God. God is into capitalism, he's into free trade, he's into entrepreneurship and abundance, and he wants to bless you. But it comes from, in the, in the, it comes in the external from the manifestation of the revelation in that epiphany that awakening that happens when you begin to understand that the silver and the gold is his remember the scripture that said the silver is mine and the gold is mine says the lord and someone else has it in their possession but god wants you and i to have it and he said it's his now i'm writing a newsletter as i was saying uh that about seven points about um, the attributes of God concerning his realms of wealth creation. And I'm going to put that into print. And it's a very provoking, uh, it's a very provoking uh, message. In fact, some of the things are really strong. I'm a little bit, ooh, this is a very rough statement. But I, I wrote some of them down. And I'm going to compile those further and do a, a teaching of the seven points. I'm also making a newsletter out of that for my friends. I want to send it to you. So make sure, do make sure I have your address. You can email me at ministry at thomasmanton.com. Just email me. That's a wonderful thing to do. You know, and I haven't said that before, but let's put that on the screen. Because we're always doing the WhatsApp and the Facebook and the SMS through the phone and all that. Just email me, and also you'll have my telephone number so you can send your uh, address. If you're in the United States and Canada, I can easily mail it to you. Uh, overseas, I, I want to send it online, and I will also maybe probably put it out, yeah, as a web page that I can send you the link and you can click and read it. In fact, that's good for everybody, but I also may print, I, I, in fact, I will print some to send just to very special partners. I won't do a mass mailing. I don't feel the Lord instructing me to do that now. I don't, to print them and send them, but I'll blitz it out online as a link that you could open the page and read it. And that will be free to everyone to read. That every, I just pray good people everywhere will get it, even if it's a million people, but as long as they're good. And someone that can be teachable to be changed into his image and receive the revelation they can get it but any mockers naysayers idiots and deceived crazy psychotic people they don't need to know anything about it we just pray that god will put a filter and block them out to save us listening to rubbish and foolishness you know there's some people that you can't teach because they don't want to hear they're of another spirit you know, every one of the situations I have when a poverty spirit emerges in someone, because I'm carrying that anointing for breakthrough and wealth creation, it kind of puts a dividing line and the relationship gets severed by that. 
And that's sad because you just wish that someone could go, you know what? I don't understand everything about that that you understand. But I'm praying right now, and this is a prophetic word for you, that I, I'm praying that you'll come into the understanding like I have. That God wants us rich and blessed. I mean, really. It's not like something we confess and say and hope for so we'll have more convenience or more things. But he wants it to expand his kingdom. One vision I had years ago, and I was just reminded of it supernaturally sitting here. We're talking. It just came back to me. The vision, I call it the vision of the gold coins. I have a, an audio CD where I did that message. I don't have it now. It's in the International Car Archives overseas. And I'll, I'll get it. Uh, ASAP and I will get that message and put it on online and make it also as a, as a CD that people can can get that I can send to them and, may, and hopefully as a downloadable file also but I had a vision where the Lord was talking to me about his purpose an open vision and I was thinking about provision and I was just thinking about his purpose yes that's always the foremost thing but you know I was thinking also about money and things that we need and resource and, and assistance and divine provision for the vision and the Lord came out behind the wall in the open vision and he had a big huge hand his hand was like accentuatedly big in the vision and he had a like it was almost like a whole pot of gold coins they were in his hand like I don't know how his hand could that be but in the in the spirit world you know things could be, appear to be very different and and he had and he took them and he angrily had an angry look on his face and he, he threw the coins at my feet and he went, here, take them. And then he began to take a step back and as if he was walking back around this huge wall, which the dimensions of it were miles long. I can't explain how that is in the spirit. But here's what I got out of that vision. He's Jehovah Jireh and will give us everything we need, but he was thinking about what he wants done. That's what was on his mind. In other words... It made money, monetary things, like a secondary thing to his purpose. It's like they're there for him, but Tim was like a boy. It's like, this is already yours. Here, take it. Can you imagine? I was like, my God. I woke up from that. I, got, I came out of that vision. I was like, wow. This is amazing. But, the, but, I, but I remember the Father's mind and the Spirit. I could discern and feel like the communication realm was open without words being said. And he was passionate about his purpose being done. I'm in the land of the supercars. Okay, page 34, verse 6 now. There's another one. Lamborghinis, Ferrari. Here we go. Okay, close your ears there. Lamborghinis, Ferraris, convertible Rolls Royces. What else we got here? Everything. This is good to expand the imagination, you know. Let me tell you something. If you're a wealthy thinker, you're going to be attracted to places of luxury that some people and watch when people scoff about things like that because what do you what do you what are you why are you disrespecting something so beautifully created by people and it's such a wonderful thing that everybody really marvels at and you want to go ah oh, look at that something's wrong with you you got a religious spirit you got a poverty this is a poverty demon of poverty the venom of some poverty devil has has entered your bloodstream somewhere and you got to get it, get it out of you can i tell you what will get it out of you more than anything this is what i'm praying right here and that's why i came up right now to release this to you uh the presence of heaven the power of the holy ghost to come and reveal himself to you and his anointing to come upon you that all that nonsense about lack and struggle and despair and then people coming against things, you know, like, oh, it ain't about all that wealth. And, that's, and then they call it materialism or they call it what? Why don't you just lighten up and have what you want and believe God for what you want? I had, I had one week I was testifying about this that I had three Bentley cars, you know, Bentleys, you know, like the Rolls Royce, uh, presented to me in, in the same week, a blue one, a green one, and a black one. The black one had red interior, and I, and the green one had a really interesting brown. It was a really rich, rich brown. Oh, it was so beautiful. It's a mansory, if you know about cars. Ha <laughs> ha, M-A-N-S-O-R-Y. It's a custom package for that thing. And the other one was a, uh, a flying spur, and the other one was something. Anyway, 
and uh, one of the three three different Bentleys. And and the Lord, I wrestled with the Lord, and prayed, 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 and I couldn't get a breakthrough, and I was wondering why. Because God knew the future; He knew I didn't need it right then. Maybe there's some major repairs that were needed that I, you know, I would come in, it would come into, and I didn't. He didn't want me to be bothered with that, or I just didn't need to have it because I just gotten another beautiful SUV, a Range Rover, and got an incredible deal on it. And I'm driving that, and the Lord said, "This is good. This is okay for now." And you know, I've had the Mercedes, I've had the sports cars, I've had the hot rods. I've given them a lot of them away. I've given away like 14 cars. And I've sold only three cars in my life, but I've given away the others. When I get done with one, I, I give it away. I don't sell it, no, most, most of the time. So any miracle I get in that realm is, is, is also a harvest to the seed. So get what you want. There's certain places in the world, let me talk to you in the third world countries. Kenya is now becoming like 2.5, 2.4, going down the... You're heading toward one, but you'll never be number one because America did it first. You can't catch up with us, sorry to say. But you're really pushing the envelope to get there. So Kenya is, let me announce officially from heaven and the official word, Kenya is no longer a third world country. I prophesy and declare. Because, you know, look at what's happening in Nairobi. Now you have the slums and you have the villages and it's a mess. If you live there and you tap into this broadcast, you need to tap into this grace that's upon me. I'm not doing this so you can give me anything. I'm not doing this to get paid. I don't work for money. I work for God, and he takes good care of me. And anybody that wants to donate, celebrate, generate, connect, and partner, it's for their own blessing because giving is all about you making a transaction with heaven and God will bless. So he, he provides the anointing, he puts it in front of you for you to tap his grace through that vessel and also to also work in logistical, natural things to help reach the world with media, with administration, with travel, with things needed to be paid for and done. Because in this world, everything works in the commerce, commercial way every day. Amen, dear Mary, you too. Love you. My friend in Zimbabwe, God bless you there. I see you there. Everyone that's coming on, share this, share this, share this, share this, share this. Share this. Someone else needs to hear this. Now I'm praying. Father, in Jesus' name, appear to my friend listening and watching right now, and those are my friends here, that you will be, that you, Lord, will show them the way you've shown me that it is your will for us to live in abundance. That's just reality. And let, let them get so militant and narrow-mindedly focused. I don't mean narrow-minded like you can't think of other things. You, know? you need to be open-minded to think and process everything according to the scripture. Do that. Explore your imagination. No one can tell you, oh, don't think about that. No, let be like those Bereans, you know. They went in red, you know. They heard the word and they said, let me go study this. Now, I'm going to meditate on this myself a little bit. Let, let it appear, appeal to me the way you're saying it's appealing to you. I'm praying. That's what I'm praying for, that that happens. And until that happens, listen to me. I'm, I'm talking to you as God's prophet here. At, until that happens, you're not going to cross over into the realm of superabundance. So this is a prayer right now. Kocha mate laban saka toche katere bozoto. For a kumbro shikitela masam brest de keshe de leboko saya. For a realm of super abundance, I, I activate that in you. Me, Thomas Manton IV, God's friend and servant, I activate this anointing and release it upon you. That as he's revealed it to me, so he's going to reveal it to you as he's manifesting it, manifested it to me and manifesting it more and more every day to me. He's going to manifest it and reveal it more and more to you. And then you're going to have the understanding to see all the other sideshows and deceptions for what they really are is demonic and satanic. Not even demonic. Demonic, you think, ah, it's a manifestation. It's a devil. It's a devil running around doing stupid stuff. But the master idiot who's defeated, you know what I'm talking about, Lucifer, 
who became Satan. That one. I'm coming to you live from the beach. Yes, I am. Right here. Beautiful place we're in. He's the one that gives all the idiot, idiosyncrasies, idiot, idiot, how do I want to say that? Idios, philosophies, isms and schisms, yeah, and all that, because, okay, someone asked me a question. What about this guy that criticizes the move of the Holy Spirit, yet he's supposedly a prominent pastor? I said, ah, X, 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 X and delete. Don't think about it. And when someone brings up the man's name again, just say, praise the Lord. And say, can we change? Can we talk about this and just shift the subject? Because talking about that particular guy that criticizes the move of the Holy Spirit is never going to get you anywhere. Because the move of the Holy Spirit is what you need to live in blessing and abundance. And if you're going to fool around and dance around with the foolishness of religious men that have been deceived by the devil and are tools in the hand of the devil, though, hey, they're Christian. Someone says they're born again. You just take them at their word. Take God at his word. He says you, you can be saved by calling on the name of the Lord. So this is no criticism here. This is no, but this is differentiating. Remember the scripture says, uh, uh, Hebrews 4.12, that dividing asunder from soul and spirit. The word, sharper than any two-edged sword. So when you have the word that says this, no man can tell you that. And what they'll do is they'll get all intellectual, They'll paint the big image and paint the big picture that this is good. Some people try to make a, a case for anti-materialism, anti-prosperity. Anti Nonsense. There's no prosperity gospel. If there is one, it's the gospel that says what you do for another man, the same the Lord will do for you if it's good. That says, I've given you the power to get wealth. And from the beginning, God said, I, hey, hey, Dr. J, God bless you, man. Coming to you live from the beach talking about uh, the realm of superabundance, and this is a prophetic prayer of activation in people for superabundance. I'm doing great, as you can see, and here. Now, the, the Lord is, is wanting to do this right now. So stretch out your hands, Father, I thank you. In Jesus' name, that you're causing an uproar and an outpouring and a breakout from every wrong mindset, every religious spirit, every poverty spirit, every controlling mentality, every emotional bit of damage, any infusing and indoctrination by religious demons and wrong spirits and people that are being used by the devil to trick you out of what God gave you. Pastor Kevin McGinnis, there you are. It's right here, man. But see, it's, it's occupied. See this one? It's a black brightling, honey. My friend. Someone's asking me for the wa a watch, and I said, well, it's here. You have to come uh, a couple thousand miles down the coast to the bottom. You know where I am. See the palm trees and come and negotiate a good deal. <laughs> I'm messing with you. Now, listen. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, LOL. So, superabundance comes from the Spirit. And, and I said this uh, on the beach a minute ago. You can go back and watch our broadcast. Share that one too with everyone. The Lord is... Thaddeus, hello, my friend. The Lord is... Uh, I'm, share, I'm sharing uh, several things. You go back and replay this. And the last one I just did from the beach. Glorious message. Now, everything you want that's good is in God's hand. So the closer you get to Him, you're going to get closer to the treasure box. I, I was in a conference a few days ago, great conference, and a, uh, a great pastor, one of the best men of God I know in the world today, in our world today, all over the planet. And he's a dear, dear covenant friend. And he, he, he had a vision when he was looking at me. He's looking at me and he, he's trying to shake it, thinking, wow, I keep seeing this. But he had, and then he wrote me a message. He said, I, can't, I couldn't shake it. Not that I wanted to shake it, but I was just amazed that God was talking to me about you so strongly. And he wrote me a message at a moment when I really, it was really a, a prophetic confirmation. And he said, I see a treasure box of gold, a treasure chest open, full of gold. It's like an olden kind of ancient, you know, like bejeweled, box, you know, one of those treasure boxes, a real one from the centuries before that they used to carry, you know, full of jewel, gold and jewels inside coming out and it's for you and the Lord says it's coming in your hand 
And then we had the revelation. Hello, Pastor, Pastor Dr. O, my friend. God bless you. Frank Melfa, my friend. God bless you. Love you. That DVD is coming, and I'm also going to add the CD for you also. Don't tell me you don't need it. I'm sending it anyway. I hope to have the printed newsletter. If not, that'll come in the, in the, in the post behind that one. But uh, I've traveled, but it's coming to you. It's being worked on. Pastor Eric, my dear friend, hello. God bless you. And uh, this, this thing about this thing about superabundance, it's, it's a phenomenon. Now, from Genesis to Revelation, in every book of every chapter of the Bible, Every chapter in every book, there is somewhere that you'll find that God talks about wealth creation, wealth establishment, wealth possession, wealth generation. Deuteronomy 8.18 is one, making, managing, and multiplying wealth, receiving the anointing for that. Now, if it's not a good thing, you know, it's almost blasphemous to speak against prosperity. It really is. Because God said there's an anointing for it to create wealth. Think about that. What that means, to break it down and to be real practical about it, that God is the one that's supernaturally creating it for you. Can God create anything bad for you? <clears throat> no. Unless, you're, unless there's a curse running on you because you're evil. And that does happen, but we're not evil. It ain't for us. Not for us. So there's an anointing. That means it's the sacred realm of the power of the moving of the Holy Spirit who's God himself in manifestation. And he says, I'm doing this to help you create wealth. And you want to say it's something bad? Woe to the person that would do that. Get delivered and stop it. Well, this, well that's prosperity. or what? Because some people have abused a message and done silly things, you know. Like, I'm going to pray for you, so give me money so I can prove. That could be like that blind sorcerer, the sorcerer who went blind. Playing with it. Could, could be Gehazi, the, the one who became leprous with the leprosy of Naaman because he disobeyed Elisha, his boss. Could be like Korah, who the earth swallowed up and his whole family and people because he spoke against the anointed Moses. Could be like Ananias and Sapphira in Acts 5 who fell dead because they lied to the Holy Ghost. And wanted to keep the money. And it could be like uh, uh, Absalom who was lustful to you know, try to overthrow the kingdom of his own dear father David. He couldn't touch that anointing. He can't touch that anointing. And Joseph and Potiphar and his wife were probably long dead and gone. Or wherever they were, whatever they were doing. When Joseph, be Joseph became the prime minister of, of, of the kingdom. Under the hand of the Pharaoh and the king there who appointed him because of his anointing. As an economic manager, imagine this. So you you you, you got to get this. You got Solomon was the richest king. Abraham was worth hundreds of billions of dollars. Job's stuff that he got in the double portion blessing in Job 42, 10 to the end, 10 to 16. Job 42, 10 to 16. After he prayed for his friends and walked through a process of horror, and he got through it and he kept his attitude right. And he kept believing God and God blessed him double. Also, Isaiah 61, 7 says, For your shame you'll have double. Double for your trouble. And I'll give you anointing to rebuild waste places. What do you got? And how are you going to do that? You're going to need resources. So God is all in this. He made it. He created it. Cecilina, God bless you. Mercy Best in UK. God bless you. I've seen you online several times, dear. Over a period of time. The Lord bless you. Welcome in. Share this message. Please repeat this after I finish in a few moments and replay this and then share it with your friends. Some very powerful things are flowing here. I'm activating in you the realm of superabundance. Someone says, can you do that? Yes, I can. Because God has called me in the ministry as his own mouthpiece and oracle, as a prophet to the nations. And he gives us special assignments and special anointings to pray for the people in the body of Christ that are hungry and thirsty and ready to receive blessing and ready to break through. And there's a licensure and there's an ordination and there's a consecration upon my head, upon my life and my spirit and my, and my, my speech to release this unto you. 
And you got to be careful about what you've ever said against anything sacred and abundance and wealth and riches, healing and health and anointed men of God and the realm of having a lot of things in this life on this earth. Because God put them all here. Who did, he put, did he put them here for the devil or for, hell, for us? Think about it. Does God want to bless evil, wicked people? Or does he want to especially bless his own? But he said the blessings fall on the just and the unjust because, you know why? They work the principles to get them. And God's a respecter of the laws he made. And whoever works that, hey, John, God bless you. Welcome on. Share this, repeat this. I'm sharing some very powerful things here. Whoever works it will get it. God's no respecter of persons. So you don't have to think, am I predestined to, to fail or to have struggle because of my upbringing? No. Here's another thing I said before, and I want to repeat it again. We need to have the environment that creates and generates the best part of us. It comes alive. In the nature of every man is a king and a fool. You push the button of the fool, play with that, the fool comes out. You push the nature and, and, and celebrate and pull on the nature of the king, the nature of the king comes out. And also there are people that pull on that because the spirit that's in them brings the spirit that's on you. And I was talking about this. Poverty versus prosperity. Religiosity versus true anointing and spirituality. They're different things. And we need to become very, it's another point, we need to become very focused now in this season of time to only be accentuating the good, forgetting the bad. Isaiah 43, 18 says, consider not the things of old, remember not the former things. Consider not those things of old. Verse 19, because I'm doing a new thing. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. Verse 20, it is going to spring forth. And I'm going to make water to flow and rivers to run even in the wilderness, even in the dry places. Oh, God. That means he could do it anywhere. But he needs to have your hearts. He needs to have your hearts. And if your mind is divided and diluted and you're all mixed up about this issue, he can't do anything. And I'll tell you why. Bible, please. Not man's opinion. James said, if any man be double-minded or divided-minded, divisively-minded, divided-in-the-minded, divided-minded, you, you cannot receive anything from the Lord. He said you'll receive nothing from Him, and you're also unstable. So you want stability, you want to make good decisions, you need to build your firm foundation it, with the word and the revelation of that, that God wants you rich, God wants you blessed, God wants you healed. God wants you happy. God wants you full of good things. Everything you want, everything you want to do, everything you want to become, everything you want to have. Think about it. Write it down. Make notes. Plan for it to come into manifestation and fruition. So live from the beach, I'm coming to you. And with this prayer of abundance, soup for super abundance, activation for super abundance. That God will bless you. God will enrich you. God will empower you. God will help you right now in this season. You need healing? Be healed. You need deliverance? Be delivered. You need wealth and money and prosperity? Receive it from the boss. In Jesus' name. My friend, my boss, my Lord, my leader. Him, the creator of the heavens and the earth. And here's a revelation. He said the silver is the silver is mine, the gold is mine. That means it's in somebody's hand and they think they own it. But God didn't say that in the word. He didn't say it's theirs. He said it's his. And I had a vision, and I'm gonna put this in the in the next message. Uh, I call it the vision of the chessboard. I'm not gonna explain it now, but I'm gonna do this in another broadcast. The vision of the chessboard, very powerful. In other words, the Lord was saying to me, He puts us on the chessboard of in life on the earth <laughs> and he moves us around in ways to get blessed puts us in the right place the right time with favor we connect we meet certain people we get connected with certain greatness and leaders and things and situations and it's god's way of bringing his blessing to us it's his favor that has come to us that puts us in those situations tomorrow morning i'm going to be in a conference and i just met a prophet the other day uh, on Sunday that uh, is going to be in this conference and I didn't know and we're all hooked up to be in the same thing and God arranged it with several leaders 
I've been in the presence of God for the last 10 days. I've been soaking in the presence of God for the last 10 days in prayer and in uh, a great, great move of God, great conference, great meetings. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. And we're getting closer and closer and closer with the Lord, even as far as we've gone, the things we've learned and known, but there's, there's, you never can exhaust any of it. It's just more and more and more and more. And there was the vision of the treasure chest. And the Lord said through this pastor to me, he said, I'm bringing it to you, my son. I'm bringing it to you. I'm bringing it, I'm bringing it, I'm bringing it. And then the revelation of the gold is mine, the silver is mine. So God puts us on the chessboard in the game of life anywhere so we can be blessed. And that was also him ordaining that and doing that. And I pray by the Holy Ghost. You know, some things, you know, I'm teaching here. And I'm speaking here, and I know you're hearing and you're saying amen and you're getting, but some things are just caught as well as they are taught. As Just like they're taught, they're also caught. C-A-U-H-T, yeah. And taught, T-A-U-G-H-T, G-H-T, yeah. C-U-G, C-A-U-G-H-T. Caught, you have to catch it, you have to catch the fire. You have to catch the revelation. Father, appear to my friend. Appear to them. Show them. Get it down in their mind, heart, depth, in the depths of their soul and spirit and mind and heart. And, 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 in the, and activate the planning realm for them to, uh, to, uh, to prosper like never before in this season. How's your wife doing? She's doing and it's going to become a revelation to you. And every other option that is not his will, not his plan, is being canceled out. And that realm of superabundance is being activated for you. I'm Thomas Manton. Thank you for partnering with me. You can do that on thomasmanton.com. And our friends here can put on the screen my Mpesa number, my WhatsApp number, and our website our cash app and uh, how to write to me and there's also uh, uh, an office line in uh, in the US uh, number also we could put that on there hey James good bless you mate James Miller James Brad Miller my friend blessings on you and uh, we could put all that information on there and you can contact us Thank you for being a part of this ministry and partnering as the Lord speaks to you because you're tapping the grace of His presence and His anointing. And I pray this manifestation like it's happened for me and it's happening for me will also happen for you. It will also happen for you. For what? So that you can advance the kingdom of God all over the world. If you don't know Jesus as your Savior yet or you'd like to pray a new prayer of consecration to him just yeah. say Lord Jesus come into my heart I receive you Holy Spirit come into my heart come fill me devil get out of here um, uh, you know uh, you're not my boss I'm your boss by the hand of Jesus Christ and this realm of super abundance is coming to people I prophesy that my dear pastor Joel God bless you my friend there you are no the last share this go back and replay this I'm about to jump off here I'll come back a and stay tuned for the next broadcast. I'm going to be sharing some things about capitalism, how God is into that. And also, uh, put a plus one on there. Can you do that? Yeah, it'll capitalize the faith. Thanks. Good. Plus one, space, the 747, no dashes. And two six, faith in caps, and then the number. That'll be good. Actually, just type out the whole number also. Plus one, seven, four, seven, two, six, three. Two four eight four, and let that be like a separate number so it's easy to read. The people don't have to differentiate that faith, although it's easy to remember. Seven four seven. Think of the airplane, big airplane. Two six faith. You can reach me there. Leave a message. Uh, leave a, a specific message on on the voicemail if you get it. If I'm in a meeting, and guess what? I'll read it. I'll see it, and I'll converse back with you. The Lord bless you. And the WhatsApp, uh, plus 254-792-320-780. The M-Pesa line is... Uh, 
320780, that's in Kenya. And every other way, I have people in Europe that send uh, seeds and donations by. Yeah, maybe due to spaces, plus one space, 747 space, 263 space, like that. Thank you very much. People write me, they do use money grannies, whatever. And you know what it is? It's not that we, we don't need, it's all for the missions and it's all for the, thank you. It's all for the, for, for the spreading of the gospel. But you know what? It's, it's for you to do a transaction with God because when you show God your, your faith and do whatever the Lord tells you to do, then now he's got a harvest coming back. So it's an investment thing. It's an investment. You tap the grace, you get a multiplied return. You say, how? It just comes supernaturally. And that's the realm of seed time and harvest. That's how it works. So obey God in that. And uh, to my dear partners and friends, I want to send you a message that, I, that I've done. And I just have it on DVD and CD now called The Power to Create Wealth for any sizable donation. I think there's a minimum uh, thing for that, but I don't want to talk about that. I say for whatever seed that God tells you to sow, even if it's a big one, medium, however. But you'll see that, something about that on the website, but uh, I don't want to say monetary amounts here. No, I don't want to do that. But uh, as the Lord directs you to sow, if, if I see that you're, you're serious and you're doing that, I'm going to send these to you. And also friends that have been uh, supporting us and sending of late, I'm also going to drop in the mail to you. So uh, a gift copy of that. Now please, you can write me again and re remind me and ask for that. And say if you want a DVD or CD, which do you want? And I may s somehow just put both. I don't know. I'll see how you know, the Lord directs me. But you can email me your address to ministry at thomasmanton.com ministry at thomasmanton.com send me an email and I'll reply back and love to bless your life more and more I, I'm a pastor I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm his prophet and I'm, I'm, I'm your pastor I'm, I'm sharing this you, I'm sure you may have, you have a church you go to that's great pray it's a good one and I, I pray it's a good one and I pray you can help and bless there but there's an online mentorship going on here, an impartation that's coming. And I'm praying for you, and I'm helping you, and I'm, I'm, I'm teaching you, and I'm mentoring you. And, and my prayer is that the Holy Spirit will manifest himself to you. That the revelation of you having his super abundance is coming forth in your life now. In Jesus' name. Pastor Matteo in Italy, God bless you. Glad you come on. Uh, uh, go back and play this from the beginning in a few moments after it's uh, populated in the page and share it with everybody. And I'll talk to you on the next broadcast. I love you. I'm praying for you. Remember Isaiah 48, 17. said, I am the Lord your God who teaches you to profit and leads you in the way you should go. God has big blessings for you. And he says, I am the Lord your God who gives you power to get wealth, to make, manage, and multiply money and resources God has that in plan, in, in plan for you. Another one, Isaiah 45, 2 and 3. He said, treasures of riches, and even from secret places, light places, dark places, even dark places, even unexpected places, even things in the world, you don't know what, but, but God's, you don't know what the, but God just carved it out for you to have it. Again, we're people on the chessboard. He's the, the master chess ma master. He's moving us around, connecting us up, that we can overtake and bless and tell the devil, check and then checkmate, you're out. But we also cross the finish line. You know, it's also like we're in a race running to the finish line. And after the finish line is the treasure of gold. Even there's an old Irish fable. Remember the leprechaun? It's <laughs> silly, but... And, uh, and he saw the rainbow and then at the... He followed the rainbow and at the end of the rainbow down at the bottom... It was a pot of gold, 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 gold. Even in the world, they get it. So in the church, where God initiated the whole thing, we're supposed to have it more than anyone else. 
I pray that revelation comes to you like it's come to me in Jesus' name. More later. Love you. Talk to you in the next broadcast. Write me. I'm waiting to hear from you. And I'm praying for you. I'm going to be praying for you. We'll be talking. Thank you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Oh, I feel that anointing so strong. Father, thank you for your touch. Right now, there it is. Receive. Now, the Lord's going to have you begin to think. And your imagination is going to get open for big things. And your spirit is going to open up. And boldness is coming to you to step out and walk in into the realms of blessing that he has planned for you. That he has planned for you. In Jesus' name.